uh, there there was an announcement today that wasn't an announcement today. And again, I'm going to talk more about the head coaching candidates because it's important. What is up, Finn fans? Uh, I'm going to get straight to this one because this one is absolutely hilarious. Adam Schefter reported that Tom Brady is retiring. After 22 years, I was going to come on here. I was going to actually say something nice about Tom Brady. I was going to come out here and talk about all his accolades and yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, regardless of him being part of an organization that was cheating, he still played very well. And he's the greatest of his era. You guys know how I feel about goats. We'll never know what a GOAT is because they've never played in different times. But he's the greatest of his era, of his time playing. He is the greatest. But then it came out, Tom Pelissero says, Tom Brady's father, agent, and team have now denied that Brady has decided to retire and his company deleted a tweet. That doesn't mean Brady won't retire soon. He's 44 and acknowledged after last week's game he's evaluating his future. So it's not official that he has retired. Even though Adam Schefter reported it, and, you know, unfortunately, it was just miscommunication on whoever's part, but Tom Brady has not retired yet. So, no need to talk about it yet, because he hasn't retired yet. So, I thought I started off with that. I tweeted it, and I also put it in the community section, uh, and now I have to address it, saying that, no, he has not retired. But before we jump into the video, I have to shout out patchvibes.com. A lot of you guys ask me where I got the GTA style dolphin shirt, where I get all the patches, pins, uh, all my good stuff. Well, they have this really cool Super Bowl t-shirt. I'll pop it up. Retro style. Go over there. Patchfives.com. Use the promo code DDW2. You get yourself 20% off. Fantastic art and work. Speaking of art, backroom collections. They have this awesome new uh, piece that they do. It, it, it's a Miami Vice style with Dan Marino and Tua Tonga Vailoa. Go over there, use the promo code DDW, you get yourself 10% off. Fantastic stuff. You don't, it's not just NFL and not just the Dolphins. So go over and check them out. So yesterday the news came out that Brian Dable, uh, you know, is going to the Giants. And I, let me address this first because all night last night and all day yesterday, I've had to explain myself, which I don't understand why I needed to explain myself. A lot of people got upset about me saying this. And in the tweet, the, my exact words were, Brian Dable chose the Giants over the Dolphins. And a lot of people were, got upset with that. And I'm pushing a narrative and why am I so negative and da 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 blah, blah, blah. And I was utterly confused utterly confused <laughs> because in my mind in my eyes i'm not pushing a narrative i'm not pushing anything he chose the giants over waiting for the dolphins the dolphins had to schedule the second interview for him he could have you know sat back said the giants give me a second let me see what the dolphins can offer yada yada blah 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 but he chose to go to the giants so again he chose to go to the giants Versus choosing to wait for the Dolphins' decision. Chose the Giants over the Dolphins. I don't I don't understand what's confusing about that. Now, am I saying, oh, we missed out. Dolphins messed up. He's the best can. No. I'm literally stating a fact. Brian Dable chose to go to the Giants over the Dolphins. I don't understand what the anger and the confusion and that, it's what happened. People have said, well, the Dolphins didn't offer him a job, so how does he choose one over the other? Because he made his choice. <laughs> he could have either stayed and waited for the Dolphins and go on that second interview and see if they would have offered him a job. We never know. But he chose to go to the Giants. <laughs> that's it. That's all I got to say about that part. But essentially, Brian Dable going there, Vance Joseph not going, not getting a head coaching position. Kalen Moore seems to be going back to Dallas. Uh, Dan Quinn going back to Dallas. Uh, it's all seems like it's down to Mike McDaniel. So, as you can tell by the title of the video, where do we go from here? What is the idea? What is the plan? There are 
candidates that are still playing right now. I know that they are going to interview the running backs coach for the Rams, Thomas. I don't want him to get the job. No offense to him. But my thought process is I want someone with experience. And he is the least experienced of all the candidates. There's Eric Bieniemy, who's still out there. I know the Dolphins haven't made uh, you know, any attempts to bring him in for an interview, but they could after this weekend. Uh, there's still Doug Peterson, who they can reach out to. I'll pop this up. Supposedly, you know, rumors are out there that Jim Caldwell is going to interview for the Vikings job. Again, if that is the case, Miami, get on the phone, give the man a call. I'm pretty sure his wife and him would prefer to not be in Minnesota. No offense to Minnesota, but if you had the choice between Minnesota and South Florida, hello. <laughs> I know he's, he's used to Michigan type weather, but... I'm pretty sure him and his family would like to go to Miami because of the weather and the non-taxes and the fact that we have the most cap space and we have three first-round picks over the next two years. Just saying. So where do we go from here? Uh, you know, it, Brian, the, the candidates that we missed out on, Brian Dable. I talked about Brian Dable, right? There's rumors that he's going to bring Ken Dorsey and Don uh uh, Martindale as his OC in DC. A lot of people were like, oh, that's not going to happen, dog. Why would Dorsey want to leave, you know, potentially becoming an OC, yada, yada? And it's now out there that he's going to go. So, all the people who called me names and stuff, you're wrong. Um, but he wasn't my top candidate. Brian Dable wasn't my top candidate. Neither was Mike McDaniel. Neither was Kellen Moore. Neither was Thomas. Neither is all. I didn't want, and I still don't want, a first-time head coach. We've been down that path. Adam Gase, uh, Joe Philman, Tony Sperano. We've been down that path before, and I and I don't want to go down that path again. I want, you know, I already had my top. You know, Jim Caldwell, Jim Harbaugh, Jim Harbaugh, Dan Quinn, Doug Peterson were my top four. One of them's gone. There's three out there that are still available. Now, would, would Jim Caldwell want to come to Miami after all the stuff he dealt with and leaving? Is it because of Flores? Is it because of Greer? We don't know. But would he want to come back here? And then you have Jim Caldwell and Doug Peterson, who, from our knowledge, the Dolphins haven't reached out and haven't, you know, made an opportunity to talk to them. From what we know. Because a lot of you guys are telling me certain things. And again, this is just speculation. I'm not saying I have sources. I'm not saying anything. But the Dolphins are waiting till after National Signing Day. They're waiting a certain amount of time. Obviously, Mike McDaniel, after Sunday, uh, he'll be able to come for a second interview. Being that the you know, championship game. But they're waiting a certain amount of time. And they're not in any type of rush this past week. Why is that? I don't know. I'm not saying like, why is that? I'm literally asking you guys, why do you think that is? You know, are are they in talks with Doug Peterson? Have they talked to Jim Caldwell? Have they talked to Jim Harbaugh? Have they said, you know, what's your thoughts? You know, are you really want to leave Michigan? And if he's like, I don't know. Then obviously Stephen Ross doesn't want to spurn them and take him away from, you know, the National Signing Day and all that stuff. So, not a speculation, a lot of stuff going on. But where do we go from here? There's still candidates out there that the Dolphins can potentially go after. Will they? Ma. They haven't gone after Doug Peterson, like I said, or Jim Caldwell or Jim Harbaugh. They did go after Dan Quinn. They went after some unknowns. Why, I don't know. It doesn't, I may be wrong, and I, I, I always own up to when I'm wrong, but it just doesn't seem like it works out when you go for first-timers, given that three of the, is it three of the four? In the, yeah, three of the four in the national, in the, you know, championship games are first-time head coaches. And the funny thing is, two of them have worked with Mike McDaniel. <laughs> so, we'll see how it all pans out, but essentially just... You know, where do we go from here? There's still a lot of candidates that the Dolphins can go out and talk to. I don't think the sky is falling yet. I don't think we're screwed. I don't think we missed out on anybody. That's my biggest thing. 
I don't think we missed out on anybody. That's why I'm not freaking out. That's why I'm not, you know, oh, we suck. We're horrible. I can't believe this. He would choose this over this. And I can't, I'm not crapping on my team. I'm not, no. Because we haven't missed out on anything. Vance Joseph, do you really want Vance Joseph as your head coach? Brian Dable, it's a nice, sexy name. He's been an OC forever. He did fantastic work in Buffalo. But what are the odds he's going to do great here? We don't know with any of these guys that got hired, especially with the offense coordinator that went to um, Denver, the defensive coordinator that went to Chicago, Dan Quinn deciding to go back. So, again, where we go from here is we sit back, wait, hope, and pray. So that's all we really can do. <laughs> Sit back, hope, and pray that the Dolphins make the right choice, even though for a while they haven't. But maybe something will change here. Maybe they learned from the past two head coaches in Adam Gase and Brian Flores. Maybe they learned. I don't know. There could be so many different things, so many different aspects of why things aren't panning out. Is it because of the rumored, and again, these are rumored, um, Stephen Ross and Chris Greer have never come out and say we want the court, the head coach to work with Tua. That was a source that said that that. Another source said that they want to keep the defensive side together. That is a source. That is a rumor. It doesn't mean that that's actually what they want or what they're saying in the coaching meeting. So we'll see. We'll see how it all pans out. And obviously, if news breaks, I will get it to you guys. I thought I had some breaking news for you guys that Tom Brady decided to retire, but nope. <laughs> Shot that one down. I'd really like to know who released the uh, rumor or who released it because got Adam Schefter. And if you get Adam Schefter, you must be real good. You must be real good to get Adam Schefter. But I will see you guys probably Monday or Tuesday. Me and Big O getting together again. I'll uh, get another video for you guys. Um, I got some things in the works with some other people. Um, and obviously, once we get the head coach, I could start doing free agent videos. I could start doing all the stuff I got planned. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. To the new subscribers, welcome. I think we are at uh, 30,300. 30,400. So to all the new subs, thank you guys so much for hitting that button. Uh, I got a lot planned for you guys, so... Don't you worry. And to the ma and to the members and the patrons, I have something very special for you guys. And I am still doing the giveaway. Don't think I forgot about that. I'm picking a day when I'm going to go live for an hour and do the giveaway. I'll let you guys know about that. And I'm doing a QA. and a End of the year Q&A. Uh, for this video, in the comment section, put uh, Q&A and ask any questions that you want. Any questions. That doesn't have to just be Dolphins. And uh, I'll get you guys in the Q&A. But other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Like usual, stay classy. Evans up.